real honour and a privilege to host these awards. I've done it for several years, but they're different every single time. The companies are slightly different, even though there are some of the same faces here. The atmosphere is always the same. It's buzzing. So this is the BEC BC 2018 Cluster Awards. It's, it's always a little bit tense when you know, the, everything that happens tonight is down to us. As well as being, you know, having a little bit of nerves because we shortlisted, we've actually got a little bit of nerves because this evening has to be spectacular. This year, uh, we decided to have a collaboration award and it was an absolute no-brainer for us. We bring companies and people together with one voice, with common aims, to do things that are right for the business community and are also right for the community within which we live in West Cumbria. Tonight is about celebrating excellence and I am truly proud of what it is and what it's achieved. I think the awards have a great value to those that win and those that are shortlisted to be honest. It gives you real exposure and a sense of being recognised for doing what you do as part of your day to day business. They are very special awards, so it's time to present them. Our first award tonight is the SME Innovation and Creativity Award. <laughs> and the winner is Thomas Graham and Son. Come and join us! Absolutely brilliant. No two ways about it. I mean, the thing is, with this particular system, we can show innovation right the way through and helping, obviously, people like Sellafield and any of the other contractors that's coming on board with this particular system. So. Brilliant. Award number two this evening is the Collaboration Award. I'm delighted to announce that the winner of BCBC's first ever business award for collaboration is Centre for Leader Leadership Performance. It means everything. It's, um, it's not just about the centre, it's about the way we in West Cumbria and across the county pull together to do great things. On to award number three, and it is our Socio-Economic Commitment to West Cumbria Award. The winner in 2018 is Frank's Portlock Consulting. You should give back what people have given to you, and I think it's important that we give back to that community, no matter where from, from little children to old people. Award number four is Inspiring People. The winner of the Inspiring People Award 2018 is Hospice at Home West Cumbria. As well as inspiring staff and inspiring the people that work for us, we inspire over 200 West Cumbrian volunteers who work in this very difficult field. Let's do another award. It's number five. It's the Growing Business Award. I'm delighted to announce that the 2018 Growing Business Award goes to Par Systems. Congratulations. It's been hard work for the last 12 months, but we've, uh, we've, we're ready for, for even more growth. Our final award ahead of dinner is Developing the Next Generation. The winner of the Developing the Next Generation Award, Beans Wilson. I think it's something that really shows the younger, the younger generation that we want to bring them through, that we want them, we want Cumbrians to be in business in Cumbria kick off with our seventh award of the evening, which is the Rising Star. So without further ado, I can now announce that the winner of the 2018 Rising Star Award is Adam Pearson. So three and a half years ago, we formed the company, um, and since then it's been, it's been a very hard journey sometimes, and I think starting a company or co-founding a company when you're only 19 is quite a difficult thing sometimes. So we're on to our three final awards. We've got the startup business. The winner is Red Pike Education. With this, we can go further with ed education, provide so much more to West Cumbrian, to all walks of life. Award number nine is Micro Business of the Year, sponsored by Wood. The winner of Micro Business is DMA Safety Management. It's not just about our business, it's about health and safety across the board in West Cumbria. It's fantastic. Happy? Delighted. So our final award tonight is Company of the Year, sponsored by KFA. Uh, highly commended. Could I ask Bartholbidius to have a please? It's an honour to be here. 
yeah, never mind, become highly, highly commended company. No, fantastic company, yeah, best in the people. Company of the Year for 2018 is TSP Engineering. It's a privilege to be able to, to receive such an award, but it's a great recognition for the hard work of the people. And I've never come across such a, a group of people that were willing to take the challenge and make the changes and make the business what it is today. Congratulations to all those finalists and all those winners. I feel humbled, inspired, delighted and proud at every single one of you, so well done. So what I wanted to ask you to do tonight was just pause for a minute and think about all the amazing things that you've achieved. Not that we've achieved, but that you've achieved. It's something that I don't feel we do enough of and I wanted tonight to be all about that. I think the cluster, at its heart, it's about people that want to do business, but not only that, they'll want to make a friend of you um, as well. Well, thank you all for coming. I think it's been spectacular, don't you? I'm Kim Ingalls. It's good night from me.